Rizzo. Rizzo It's your boy Wizard Wop back again, my man. Got a quick little heat check for you. Um, it's been a while since I since I've done one of these, man. So I, I said, let me get this out there, man. This we're gonna get into another Wizards weekly sneaker rotation. Um, I felt like I pulled out a lot of heat last week, so I said I can't let this week go by without without giving it to the people. So. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the page if you haven't already, man. If you have, I certainly do appreciate it if you've been riding with me. Uh, make sure you leave a like on this video if you like any of these pairs. And, man, leave me a comment, man. Let me know what was your lineup for last week or maybe what's your current, uh, what's in your current rotation. Um, we try to switch it up a little bit around here, man. So that's what we're doing today. Without further ado, let's get to Sunday. Now. Sunday, um, Sunday fun day, right? So Sunday, uh, we pulled out a women's Air Jordan, the Air Jordan 14 low. I don't know what they called it. Hyper, hyper pink, I think, hyper pink or something. So this is, like I said, a women's Air Jordan. Um, but you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a sucker for a pink shoe. Um, you know, I'm trying to shot. I got to stand out a little bit, make some heads turn. So Sunday, we, we did pull out uh, the Air Jordan 14 Hyper Pink. I think that's what they called it. Fusion Pink. I don't know, but I love that long hair suede. Um, this is actually a size 11 women. So it's a nine and a half men's. I actually could have went with a, a size up, 11 and a half. They do fit a little bit slim, but it's all good. Um... Yeah, look at that long hair suede on the upper. You got your, I believe this is like the hyper pink here. A um, lot of different things going on. This one actually did come with uh, like a card. Uh, what's this? That's a 12. Okay, here we go. This one did actually come with a card. And it just says, our women's AJ14 celebrates the power of pink and its influence within the fashion space. Depending on this shade, pink can be bold and shocking or subtle and soft. No matter what your stance is on pink, Jordan Brand celebrates all. Diversity of thoughts, diversity of opinion, and diversity of style. So let me know how y'all feel about men wearing women's Jordans. Leave me a comment, man. I don't mind, dog. I got another women's uh, release in this lineup as well. So that was Sunday. Now, on Monday, I said, you know what, man? It's Monday. Let me take it back to uh, a buy wop. You know, I was, uh, I just wanted really something comfortable, um, but still fly at the same time. So what we did is we went with the nike waffle one this is a nike by you this is the wizard wop uh nike by you um this is an interesting shoe because it is a brand new silhouette um that nike came with i think this was 2021 2021 brand new silhouette um it was fun man it was fun a very light shoe, comfortable shoe. Um, we went with some green, again, long hair, suede seems to be a thing this week. Pad leather seems to be a thing this week. We're going to get into it. Um, long hair, suede, like a green. I can't remember the, exa the uh, exact name. Um, blue mesh on the upper. It's kind of got like some a red underlay. Um, Wild berry laces is what we calling it. Got a yellow check, kind of a translucent yellow check. Gotta love this heel cap right here. It does remind me of a Sakai. Um, and yeah, just a beautiful shoe, man. Very, very light. Like I said, light shoe, comfortable. Um, and it's a shocker, man. I like what Nike did with this one. A lot of detail. Let me know what y'all think about this one. That was... Monday. Now, Tuesday, 
Tuesday, man, we just uh, we went to pull out dunks. I don't know. I just was feeling a dunk. So we pulled out the Carolina Blue, UNC Blue, uh, the dunk low from the college pack, man. Uh, this is actually probably one of the most sought after or one of the more popular dunks from that college pack. I'm missing a few. I still need Michigan State. I still need a uh, Michigan dunk. I still, there's a few that I'm missing and I still need to get, um, but I, I, I'll get them, man. Patience is a key. Um, but yeah, this is one of the, one of the best, I think. Nice, classic, solid color blocking, uh, Carolina blue. I mean, you know, this is, uh, the dunk in general, probably sure 2021. They went crazy with the dunks and it does not look like they're letting up. In 2022, I'm not mad at it. Um, so, yeah, man. If anybody has Michigan State dunks, Michigan dunks out there, size 10, let your boy Wap know. Uh, I still need that team red, but we, we are getting a chance for that on sneakers. We getting, you know, a lot of dunks coming out next week, I believe, on sneakers. So, be on the lookout for that. Um, but, yeah, this was Sunday. This was Tuesday. So, Tuesday. Now... Wednesday, you know, Wednesday hump day, man. So I'm trying to get over the hump. I'm like, yo, what am I going to pull out? What am I going to pull out? Um, some I've been wanting to pull out for a while. I went ahead and done. So shout out to my, my partner, Ryan Dunn. Shout out Hype Beast KC. I told you we had another women's Jordan in the lineup. And we did pull out the Air Jordan 1 uh, Atmosphere. This is the Atmosphere. Um, great shoe again. Shout out to my partner Ron Dunn. He gave me, showed me love on this. Um, and I'll be honest, when I first bought this shoe, I thought it was a black upper with a little bit of pink. It's actually obsidian blue, which I thought was even more fire after I got the shoe, so I wasn't mad. A um, little bit of patent going on here, um, like a light, real light pink on it. Um, Obsidian blue on the tongue, obsidian blue laces. We just kept it classic, stay what was in there. And then you got like a little tumble, a little bit of tumble leather on the quarter panel there. What's really cool about this shoe is the sole, on the sole, on one of the shoes, actually, not on both, but on one of the shoes, it has this pink print here, or this pink mark. Makes it look like you stepped in bubble gum. So this is the bubble gum Air Jordan 1. And as you wear it, I think that that mark looks even a little bit iller, uh, like you stepped in some bubble gum. So shout out to my partner, Ron Dunn, High Beast KC. You look out every time, man. You show love. Um, this is a good pair, dog. This is a good pair to have. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. So that was hump day. So we got over the hump Wednesday. Now we over the hump. And so it's Thursday. I said, you know what? I'm going to pull out a big boy on Thursday. Because I have been looking for something to match this shoe uh, for a little over a year. I wore it a couple of times, but it wasn't really like the greatest match or the greatest. We're going to talk about it. The Balenciaga Triple S. This is the uh, dark green, the clear sole joints. Um, so I picked this up last year on my around my birthday uh, in Miami. And I haven't worn it too many times because it's such a hard color to match up. The actual colorway is dark green. Uh, but it's a hard dark green to match up. So I was trying. I finally found something that, that matched up really well with it. So I pulled them out. Um, a little bit of a heavy shoe, I will admit. A little bit of a heavy shoe. Um, but it's, it is comfortable, though. It is comfortable. Good materials on this. Um, certainly a head turner, uh, not just because of the bulkiness of the shoe, but I really, really love this color, uh, this dark green colorway, uh, size 43 for your boy Wop. Um, like I said, a little bit heavy of a shoe, but good quality through and through. I used to say this was one of my re most regrettable sneaker purchases, but... After last week, I don't feel that way anymore, man. I, I, I walk that back. This is a good shoe, and I stand by it. So let me know what you think about this. 
Uh, the Balenciaga Triple S Clear Sole Joints Thursday. I heard how heavy that was when I just dropped that. Um, Friday. Friday, we did pull out uh, something for Air Jordan Fridays. We're going to keep we gonna keep it going as much as we can. And uh, no no better Jordan to pull out on Air Jordan Fridays. I think we've seen this on a few sneaker rotation or sneaker uh, videos where we, we get into the weekly lineup. The Air Jordan 1 Forever Bread. That's what we calling this. This is the Forever Bread uh, or the, the Patent Bread. The reason I call it a forever bread is because you're never gonna, you shouldn't ever mess this shoe up unless you just hard on sneakers. But with that patent leather upper, it's real hard to kind of um, to damage these. Um, not a lot of, not a lot of um, crease. If you get the, like I said, you get the right pair, the right size shoe, you're not gonna have a lot of toe crease unless you're shooting dice or something. I'm not really out there shooting dice. Um, heavy. If I do, I take off the shoe or whatever. But whatever. Um, family embroidered on the uh, the interior of the shoe. So, Family Fridays, Air Jordan Fridays. It was a good pick. I think you can never go wrong with this. A forever bread. I have seen like some black and blue ones floating around. I do think those are fake. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, this was Friday, man. Can't go wrong with a forever bread. And then I'm going to be honest with y'all. Saturday, I re I did repeat. So um, now I got to get into Saturday. But that was this week's or last week's uh, sneaker rotation, man. Please, man, leave me a comment. Let me know what was in your sneaker rotation last week or what's in your current rotation. Um, we do have a Nike Ball Wop coming soon. Last week, we got the Nike Air Max 1 unlocked um, for members only. They let us go crazy. They gave us a lot of different color options. I saw people recreating old classics. I saw a lot of Atmos Air Max 1s. I saw some classic white and reds. I saw some fun stuff. We kept it fun. Stay on the lookout for that, man. I can't wait for this uh, for this shoe to come in. They gave us, like I said, a lot of options. So shout out Nike, man. Keep doing cool stuff like that. Uh, shout out to the family, man. You, if you subscribe, man, I appreciate it. If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Man, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what your sneaker rotation was for the week. It's your boy, Wop. Until the next time, I'm out.